before adding honey to hot water in the morning, have you ever thought if it is really safe? Honey is undoubtedly a nutritious sweetener having medicinal richness. In the kitchen, we may use honey in in tea, in cookies, in cake and in fried food. However, I feel that this combination of heat and honey in the kitchen must be giving a second thought before talking about what heat can do to honey. Let's look into the chemistry of honey. The major portion of honey is sugars. Fructose and glucose are abundant. Sucrose is present in small amount. Also, honey contains some enzymes in small amounts like glucose oxidase, diastase and invertase. Small quantities of amino acid proline is present. Also, traces of certain minerals and vitamins are also present. Honey is added to cookies or to fried food. It is exposed to temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius. At these temperatures, a unique process called caramelization of sugar occurs. In caramelization, a myriad of chemical reactions occur. Firstly, Dehydration of honey takes place. Also, the sucrose breaks down to fructose and glucose sugars. The glucose sugar gets converted to fructose and then all these sugars start breaking down to smaller molecules. Here, this one is normal honey and this one is caramelized honey which is quite thick and is almost adhesive. So, caramelization actually changes the chemistry of honey. Due to this, the characteristic flavor of honey gets converted to a peculiar, a totally different flavor and this caramelized honey also loses its medicinal value. When honey is subjected to high temperatures, the enzymes in it undergo a process called denaturation. Denatured enzymes become non-functional. So here I'll demonstrate through an experiment how the diastase enzyme in honey gets denatured by heat. Now the diastase enzyme breaks down starch. So in these three test tubes, you can see that I have taken equal amounts of rice that contains starch and honey. The first test tube contains raw honey, the second one has been slightly warmed and the third one has been boiled. I can test for starch using this iodine solution. So you can observe here that with increased heating, more diastase gets denatured and hence more starch remains undigested. If these enzymes are damaged by heat, why should it trouble us? The thing is, our digestive system is in trouble when these enzymes are damaged. Some sources claim that heating honey makes it toxic. However, we just saw there is no chemical produced that makes honey toxic. It's just the quality and the medicinal value of honey that gets affected. In fact, Ayurved says a big no to heated honey above 40 degrees Celsius. It says that heated honey makes digestion slow and the honey becomes glue-like which clings to the mucous membrane of your gut and forms an undesirable substance called ama. So if you want to derive maximum benefits from honey, consume it raw.